Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're gonna be playing more Grand Theft Auto 3 today. Oh wait, we've never played this before. That's right, it's the first episode of Grand Theft Auto 3, hooray! Can we get some hype in that chat, guys? It's been a long road going through the, the classic GTAs. They were very good. They were very fun and very informative, and I feel like I have a lot of context about this series. But GTA 3 is the first one that I recognize, along with probably many of you. So let's start a beautiful, Gameplay series with this classic video game right here, Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PlayStation DOS. Now, uh, welcome in, guys. Anybody who doesn't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultimate, ultimate blind playthroughs. They're called ultra-blind playthroughs, although ultimate works as well. Either way, the idea is that I don't talk over story or cutscene moments, but I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they played it before. Now, if you want to see what is happening on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all six concurrent gameplay series, not yet including GTA 3, but soon to include it. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of seven. We're currently at three, so we're getting there, guys. We're moving. The 29th entry of the Twitch playbook is out right now. That one's called How to Get into the Habit of Streaming. And it's going to really help you to stick with your passion no matter what tries to get in your way. Uh, sticking with a habit, as many people know, is a universally difficult thing to do. And Twitch is no different. So I give you some of my best tips to, uh, to stay with what you want to do as your passion in life. 
Um, because ironically, just because uh, it's your passion could end up meaning that it's harder for you to stick with. So uh, give that a look, guys. If you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, all the major podcast platforms by searching for the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, uh, let's get ready to jump in. We got a bunch of people in here today. Welcome in to Azra Tundra, Little Rock into the stream, uh, Amelia Wherever into the stream. Welcome Gaming Hour into the stream. Welcome Space Dust in the stream. Welcome everybody into the show. Thank you so much everybody for joining this momentous beginning of the 3D Grand Theft Auto uh, playthrough. Here we go. We've, we've gone through the first two and now we move into the third dimension. Shun, shun. Before we start the proceedings here, we have something to celebrate as well. Can we get some hype in that chat for Space Dust? Resubscribing for the 13th month in a row. Thank you so much to Space Dust. Can we get some of that hype? And can we get some of that cringe hype as well? Space Dust, feel free to join in in that chorus of hype and cringe hype as well. That is a tier two subscription, ladies and gents, which not only means Voice of Nick TV head, hype and uh, secrets, but also the cringe emote. Thank you so much to Space Dust for the continued support. As a member of the Latte Club, the second tier of Coffee Posse, you get many things, including the Voice of Nick emote, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad free streams. You also have the handsome sub badge, which is at that 12 month status, status, status. You're now on your 13th month. You've, you've surpassed the 12 months. Thank you so much to, to Space Dust for the continued support. It is very highly appreciated. We got a lot of hype and a lot of cringe in there. Hey, Space Dust getting that cringe hype as well. Thank you so much to Space Dust. And let's enjoy that beautiful PlayStation 2 startup sound. Now, I have no idea how loud the game's going to be when we go in, so bear with me here. I might have to turn it down, but we'll see what happens. Let's do it. Let's get some hearts for GTA, ladies and gents. Cool, the Rockstar logo is cool. That was cool. That was great. I mean, I was saying, I am here for this intro. This is nice. As a tender saying, it's like a James Bond. It was like a James Bond. GTA is so stylish. I love it. Little Rock saying, I feel like I'm in a nightclub. Yeah, this is like, they're killing it already. I am super excited for this. Space to say, nice sounds. Oh, Little Rock saying, just finished listening to the playbook. Nice. Can we get a hearts in that chat for a playbook love in there? 
Hope you liked it, Little Rock. And thank you for listening. And then they say, gotta love that PS2 startup, the sound of my childhood. Yeah. That's like my favorite part of these PS2 shows is like having that moment where we just like listen. shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. There's a lot more production value here than there was in all the other ones. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Here we go. Oh, geez, I have a first-person camera? Holy crap! Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? GTA looks like this now. Oh, my. Wow. Got some tutorial stuff, good. I want to change the audio a little bit. Uh, I'll put the music volume. It sounds like the same as it was. Amelia's saying, uh oh, Nick's gotta drive. As the coach is saying, I see fun times ahead. Yeah, we are gonna have many, many incursions on our way to our destination. Hold on, does this even affect anything? Okay, yeah, it does, it does. It's just really loud. 
because most PS2 games are pretty quiet, so I have the audio bumped up really high uh, in OBS. Maybe that's better. That seems better. Are we going in here? What does that say? The Glen something drugstore. Glenwood Drugstore. Damn, the driving feels really good. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. When not on a mission, you can save your game here. This will advance time six hours. The garage next door can store one vehicle when you save your game. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I could probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. Can I get that baseball bat? Oh, I have to get out of the car. Hey, get back in the vehicle. Nah. Walk through the doorway to save the game. You cannot save during a mission. Any vehicle left in the garage will be stored when the game is saved. Damn, it's weird to not have the ability to move the camera. I can't affect the camera other than to turn it backwards. Oh, I love that his head will turn. Hold on, watch, I'm walking forwards and then his head turns around when you switch the camera. That's really good. Oh man, we have zero, 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 zero dollars. Do you think they could make it any more clear that we don't have any money? You didn't have to put that many zeros, GTA. I know I don't have money. Look at the way he swings his bat. He is not hitting cleanup for the Yankees, that's for dang sure. Alright, here we go, guys. Little Rock saying, your podcast is the first one you listen to on your phone. That's amazing, thank you so much. That's very nice of you to say. How's the time to get in that hype? Guys, how crazy is this? This game is amazing. This is 2001, this is 18 years old. What is this? Wait a second. What does this building say? Sex kitten? Me something sex kitten. Man, there's a lot of stuff to look at in this game. Stop in the center of the blue marker. Let's go around the back and use the service door. Luigi's Girls, our first GTA 3 mission. Oh man, what a game, what a game. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Good old Italian-American gangsters. My people. Getting their fair representation. Oh, we can cycle through radio stations. Amazing, you stopped right on top of a pedestrian. That sounds about right. It sounds like me. Stop the vehicle next to Misty and allow her to enter it. What? You're getting in the back? What the heck? Hi, I'm missing. Press and hold the L2 button or R2 to look left or right. Oh, press both to look behind. So that's how you do that. Okay. Well, that's pretty useful then. Press the select button to change camera modes. Ooh. 
Whoa, 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 it's GTA 2 again, ladies and gents. We're back. What happened? It's GTA 2. Oh, crap. This is kind of great. Oh, man, it's really hard to drive like this. Can we get some hearts for the overhead camera angle? Oh man. Didn't you guys have this game when you were uh, when it was new? I uh, I never had GTA 3. I played it after the fact a little bit, but I never finished it. Hey, there we go. I like that funky uh, mission pass sound. You can go and see Luigi for more work or check out Liberty City. You know what I'm gonna do. To earn some extra cash, why not borrow a taxi? Amelia spaced us as a tundra getting those hearts. Thank you guys. So many radio stations. So many opportunities for YouTube to send me a copyright notice. It's game commentary, guys. It's not. <laughs> it's fair use. It's fair use. So if I put this in the garage, if I remember correctly. Yo, yo, right now I see a car jacket going on outside the window, man. Stick this in Eddie's here. Now if I go back in. It's fixed! Magic! Our garage is made of magic. Oh look at that, you can see inside the house there. Let's save it, baby. Save file one. And we are definitely going to alternate saves when we play this. We are not messing around this time. Oh man, guys. What a game. I'm very happy that we... You know, it's, it's good that we started with GTA 1 and 2. Because we can truly appreciate the jump between... This is two years difference between GTA 2 and this. So GTA... Let, to give you some context, GTA 1 to 2... GTA 1 is 1997. It's a two year jump to GTA 2, which is 1999. And then another two year jump from 99 to 2001 is this game. That's an insane, insane jump. Those are not equivalent jumps in uh, technological capabilities there. I wanna look inside the house there. Hold on, can I do that? How do I move my camera? There we go. Oh, it won't let me look while I'm like over here. But you can kind of see he has like a washing machine, a bed. Cool. And so we progress time as well. Oh, I can run only if I have my fists out. I can't run if I'm using my uh, baseball bat. Look at the way he runs. He's very uh, animated about it. Man, look at this game. Oh man, look at those sun flares. What a game, what a game. Look at that, that's 2001. Holy crap. Oh, there's a taxi, give me that. Hey, oh, you're also a taxi, hey, somebody. Press R3 to toggle taxi missions. Hey, hey, stop near a highlighted pedestrian to pick them up, then drive them to their destination before the time runs out. All right, let's do it. Taxi time, ladies and gents. Marco's Bistro in St. Mark's. I think they might have a real life map in this game as well. Oh crap, welcome to the show, G T A B C D. good stuff. Welcome DCAP, can we get an exclamation mark high for DCAP? 
Where's this person? Oh, here you are. Uh oh, don't hit her. Greasy Joe's Cafe. That sounds like the kind of place I want to eat. I do like a good greasy cafe. Oop! Um, am I gonna get a worse tip now? <laughs> Game FM. Oh, this is like a hip hop station. Cool. They have so many stations. MSX. Oh, it's like techno. All right, we can't go there. That's the broken bridge. Oh, sorry. Flashback. Oh. Can you guys hear that music? They had a great soundtrack in GTA games. Do you guys think, jump the broken bridge? I will definitely attempt that at some point. I don't want to die just yet. Oh crap, I can't find anybody to pick up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, is this Laszlo? Laszlo's a real person, I think. Or like a real personality. I think I'm gonna turn the sound effects up. I'm guessing sound effects will affect how. Take a quick break. Phil and I yeah, it'll upgrade the uh, so of the vocal volume. SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football. And now subtitles are on. What's trails? Widescreen did. I tried that. That didn't work. Criminal rating. Pickpocket six. All right. Whoa, this looks really different now. What was trails? Wait, was that like the weird like drunken look that they had on there? Hold on, let's turn that back on. The strip mall parking lot. Oh yeah, it looks totally different now. I think it might be turning off a lot of the effects of the game. That trail effect is like a classic PS2 look, where it's like really swimmy looking. Oh geez, look at that. Wait, why does it look so much sharper like this? There's got to be something different about it. Because it's not the default way to do it. Do you guys see the difference there? That's like pretty crazy, actually. Overnight. PetsOvernight.com. I wonder what the difference is. I'm going to leave it on normal right now. Hold on, I'm going to write that down, though. I want to look up what Trails is. Caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Samantha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my phone irrigated. I just wanted to see something about you. Here we go. Super save in Portland View. Oh, that's pretty close, actually. Oh, they only gave us 20 seconds to do it. Ah, crap. How am I supposed to. We're jumping. Taxi mission over. Earnings 1,011. That's pretty good. This is the way you're supposed to go, right? It's like a car walkway type of thing. All right. Um, I want to turn up the voices even more because it's hard to hear those. What we don't want is all the sound effects being super loud. That's phenomenal. Oh, the sound effects are the same sound, though. That's fine. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello. All right, let's leave it like that. Yeah, see, it's pretty loud.
Ooh. Here we go. Luigi time. Oh, that's a cop. Oh, that was close. Let's do it, guys. Another GTA 3 mission. I am loving this. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. Damn, look at those camera angles. To collect weapons, walk through them. They can't be collected while in a vehicle. R2, L2. Okay. Damn, this car is already pretty messed up. Oh, get up! Oh. Sometimes you may need to use pathways not shown on the radar. I'm not really sure how to get around. Let's just go through here. I wonder if this will work. Oh god. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. You got it. Oh, nope, you don't got it. Go. Run away. Okay, didn't really work out the way we wanted it to. But we got a new car right here, so all is well. Sir, please get out of the way. Sir, will you please get out of the... Get out of the way! Okay. Press the circle button to punch and kick or swing the bat. Oh, crap. Getting him! Good stuff. Give me your money now. Damn, look at that blood come out. That's some classic GTA right there. Look at this, ready? Footprints! Love it. Do you guys think, did we get him? I think we got him. Oh, we didn't get him. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, you guys ready for pay and spray? We did enough spraying of our cars in uh, GTA 2 and 1 to know how useful this is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this car is really swirly. Rock station. There we go. The stop auto shop. The one stop auto shop. Pay and spray. Drive your vehicle into the spray shop to lose your wanted level. Repair or respray your vehicle. Costs a thousand. This time, it's free. Oh, thank you. Hope you like the new color.
I like this song, whatever it is. Drive the vehicle into the garage, then walk out. Now we have to stop listening. 4,000 bucks? We're making some money, ladies and gents. Damn, gotta love that, that funky song that plays when you complete a mission. Oh my guy got tired. Hey, get out of there! I'm too tired to walk, I'm stealing your car. My tuba! My tuba? Ooh, that's a jump right there. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Yep, I see it, I see it, I see it. Go! Oh, oh god, oh god, this isn't going right. No! Oh! oh uh, no. It almost worked out. Now run! Taxi, you're gonna wanna get out of there. Yeah. Oh man. Whew. All right, ladies and gents. Let's let him have a breather here on the sidewalk. Do you guys think how was Stuber? Um, it was all right. I didn't love it as much as I wanted to, but it was fun. We made a bingo game of all the Uber-related jokes that they were gonna do, or that we thought they would do. We stayed away from all the trailers and everything, and uh, we actually somebody got bingo off of it. I didn't get bingo, but one of our uh, people did. Look at that, bad fellas. Good stuff. Dirty habits. Got some posters on the wall, I love it. Deliveries. I love how they have these little details in here. It's so detailed, it's crazy. The power of the PS2. I a combo, what am I gonna do? Hey, hey, I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Get a vehicle. Press R3 to look behind. Analog stick to look around. Oh, okay, yeah, I knew that. Pick up Misty. Here we go. Press L3. Joey's. These all very much sound like Italian names. Italian people who might be in an Italian mafia. Ah, ah, there we go. better than I thought it was. Joey's auto painting insurance repair. I'll 
be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Hey! We're moving up in the world. What is that? Is there a phone going off? <laughs> There's a place you can go. Do you guys think Italian? They're clearly French. Oh yeah, my mistake. Yeah, they are. Are we able to pick up this phone? Where is it? Oh, hidden package, cool. Oh, that's the phone right there. Can I answer it? The crook, whoa, it's like a secret mission. The name's Chucks, Marty Chucks. I run the bitch and dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood-sucking leech. Damn. All right, guys. Space Dust getting that secret. Thank you, Space Dust. Can we get some secret hype in that chat? How do I get up through? I might have to go through the front door. Yeah, I think I do. Gotta go around through the front door. As a Tundra decap getting that secret hype. Thank you, guys. We're going around through the front door. Oh, Jesus! Don't hit me. At least they hit me before I got the health thing. Hey, decaf getting a cheer in here. Thank you to decaf for the cheer. Let's get a cheer message in the chat. And let's get a brand new voice in a voice. How about this one right here? Okay, now you're hearing my thoughts. I'm GTA guy. I don't ever talk, and I don't ever squawk, and I don't ever go to the store. I only do missions, and I can only rhyme, but I can't tell anyone the rhymes in time because I die if I say anything, and I fly if I do anything. My rhymes, I never said they would be any good. That's GTA guy. <laughs> he can't talk, but we read his mind to hear his uh, voice to make voice. GTA guy. Good stuff. I wonder if he has a name. Thank you to DCAF for the cheer. It is highly appreciated. Anybody who cheers over 50 on, <laughs> on the channel gets a voice to make voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new voice to make voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, verse, verse. Thank you to DCAP for that cheer. It is highly appreciated. And uh, you are now on the cheer leaderboards here. You are, uh, let's read them all out. Here we go. Third place, Meat Computer with 100 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Meat Computer. Second place is The Goonie with 101 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to The Goonie. First place is Decap Bossman with 600 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Decap Bossman. Thank you so much to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows. It is very highly appreciated. Now let's jump into GTA. Hey, Decaf getting another cheer on here, making it 650. Thank you to Decaf for that cheer in the chat. Thank you so much, appending the cheer. Go ahead and meet the bank manager. Oh, decaf hitting that 17,500 total cheer. That is so highly appreciated. Thank you so much, decaf. You know what's nice in this game is that they make the first missions like relatively close to where you are. So you don't have to like go a super long distance to get to them. Hold on, let's turn down. 
launchers and flamethrowers and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Plant and all the sudden... Can you get some hearts in that chat? Let's go and pay the fellow a visit. Four, decap, and 17,500 cheer. That is very, very highly appreciated. Whoa, jeez. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Oop. This car is not the best car. As the time to space, that's decap getting those hearts. Thank you, guys. And thank you again to decap. That guy got dealt with way more harshly than we expected. I guess we shouldn't expect any less from GTA. We've seen the guys in the Russian mob turn people into hot dogs in GTA 2. This guy might be carrying on their good work. Oh god! Wow, that guy had a lot of money! Give me that! Whoa! Thank you. Oop! Dip! Dip! Pothole! That's some New York potholes right there. Holy crap! Maybe I should have paid attention to those uh, warning sign things. Eight Ball's auto yard. Isn't Eight Ball the guy that we just got out of the prison? Harwood. They turned it into hardwood. Let's see what you did there, GTA. Here we go. Remember this stuff in GTA 2? If you didn't get out fast enough, they would crush you in with the car with it. Got him. Look at all these papers that are on the ground. I love that they do that. It's such a good um, effect. Very um, New York. Very New York look. Park in the marked area. Okay, that's the same info. Let's see if there's any cars we can get at this auto yard. It might not be that kind of... Not that kind of auto yard, really. No. Is that a... Oh, a gas station might have some cars, though. I think I remember this area of the game. I think that there was a good car around here somewhere. I don't know how I'm ever going to find it, though. Oh, whoops. There's a car alarm. Oh, wait, I think this is it. I think this is it. Yes! It's the car dealership. Hold on, get out of that car. This is the car dealership. What's this called? Easy Credit Autos. I remember this area. And there's a really good car. Yeah, right in here. Look at that. Break the dang window. How do I get in there? Maybe I can break the window with the other car that I have. Man, guys. It's crazy how you can remember stuff like that. Oh, how do I get in? Yes! Look at that baby. Now that is a car. That is an automobile. 
Look at that thing. Holy. Can we get some hearts for the Banshee? Now I messed up my Banshee. Ah. Ah. As a time to get in those hearts, I'm not doing the Banshee justice here. I've already partially destroyed it, but it is a pretty darn good car. Space that's getting those hearts. Damn, there's so many iconic things in GTA. Holy crap. I hope my car doesn't disappear when I do this mission. Pump action pimp. Here we go. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. <laughs> the guy like flubbed the way he said ammunition. He said like ammunition. He's like, alright, I'll, I'll just keep, we don't have to do another take, that's fine. Cool. Oh, I still have my car, good. Alright, so let's go get that gun then. Because it is free. Alright guys, we're getting our first gun. Good stuff. Time to go to Amna Nation. Use R2 and R L2 to cycle through. Can I lock on? Oh, there you go. Oh God, look at the way he like flails around as he like. Whoa! Hold R1 to auto target. Press circle to fire. Try shooting the targets. Hey hey! How do I switch which target I want? Oh, R2 and see, they're answering all my questions here. While holding R1, you can walk or run remaining while remaining locked onto a target. Seems good. You can practice targeting and shooting on these paper targets. When you're finished, resume the mission. All right. Get out of the way, everybody. I'm trying to go kill a guy. All right, so this guy didn't get too far away. I think he's upstairs though. Unless that's him. Is that him? I think that's him. Nope, that's not him. But it looks like him. What's our objective right now? Briefs. Some Diablo scumbag. Take care of things. They don't really say. It looked like a Diablo car right there. Maybe there's more than one. What are the odds? Can I shoot from my car? No. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There's so many Diablo cars. Maybe we're in like Diablo turf right now. Whoop. There he is, okay. My car is like on fire though, so who knows how this is gonna go. Oh god, oh god, the cops are after me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, run! This isn't going too well. You're not home anymore! I have 27 health left. We still have another guy to get. Where is he? Oh, he's getting back in the car. Uh-oh. Up! He got us! Ah, oh, crap. He got us. All right, we might have to drive into this guy. Damn, the camera, not gonna lie, is our enemy. Definitely an enemy in this game. Your health is displayed in orange in the top right. When you're wasted, you return to the nearest hospital. Space desk in that cringe. Can we get some camera cringe in that chat, ladies and gents? You will lose your weapons and the doctors will take you. Any mission you're on will be failed. You will find ways of healing or protecting yourself the more you play the game. I wonder if we could just go to ammunition. Oh, that was some armor right there. Wow, that's so nice of them. 
Oh no, they were just showing us armor. That They didn't actually have it here. Dang it. Decap, as a tundra space test getting that cringe. That was a bit of cringe right there. I was trying so hard to get the guy, but I just couldn't like see him. <laughs> Despite my best efforts, we simply couldn't see him. All right, so now we have to go back to the uh, mission area. Let's try and save it first. And I think I lost all my weapons, right? Yeah, so I have to get the bat. Let's save this baby. Oh good, they have a timestamp. I really appreciate it when games have timestamps because then I can tell which one's the most recent save file. We're not having another uh, Hobbit situation happen. We're saving two save files for every game. By the way, this place is just called Sex Club. Very discreet. <laughs> I feel like even in Yakuza, it's more discreet than that. All right, pump action. Let's try this a second time here, guys. I think we got this. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, Go around back of Amno Nation opposite the subway. Did you hear him flub the line that time? Amno Nation. <laughs> Do you guys think, speaking of that, I'm now two episodes into our post-save corruption Hobbit playthrough. Nice. Are we like pretty uh, like optimistic about it or were we really down when we had to start the game over? I remember being like unhappy when it first happened, like, like kind of sad when it first right, happened, oh. but then when we started playing it again, I was pretty happy about it because I was like, oh. This game is still great, like playing through it again and we like were able to do everything a little bit faster. I think that was fun doing like a second playthrough. Okay, so let's see if we can buy some body armor. Let's put away our gun just in case. Go inside ammunition to buy a weapon. Ooh. Luigi said you'd need a piece, so go out in the back of the shop. I left you at nine in the yard. But I want a body armor though. Dang it, we can't get body armor. I tried to jump and he that's what happened to him. All right, let's go out back then. Damn, I'm not feeling so confident about this. Let's keep all of our, uh, let's keep all of our ammo for this hey, mission to come. Do you guys think it seems like you were upset in the first episode, but you got excited the more we got into it, talking about being a Hobbit master? That's right, because we, we knew every uh, secret at that point. We actually ended up getting more completionist like percentages on all the levels as well. That was a fun playthrough. It was really fun. Thank you to Decap for sending that. Peer to Beer, welcome to the stream. Here you get an exclamation mark hyper Peer to Beer joining the show. We are playing GTA Trace. Oh wait, we have to go like this, yeah. You were saying, is GTA 3 less punishing than 2? So far, yeah. Yeah, so far. We did fail our first mission though, we, we got our first death a second ago. So let's try this, we're gonna try and, oops. Let's try and just shoot the car. How do I just shoot this car? He won't shoot it. What if I just shoot it? Yeah! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Shoot him! I have seven health. Uh-oh, this doesn't bode well. Hold on, hold on, get in this armored car! Oh, yes! Yes! You know what doesn't work against pump-action shotguns? Pump-action shotgun is no good against a big old armored car! Ha-ha! We're thinking outside the box, ladies and gents! Can I get some hearts for that? Damn, I was absolutely about to die right there. 
Oh, look at that, we have a, a pager. The pistol is now in stock at Anu Nation. Damn, guys, can we get some hype for that? That was not gonna go our way. We really pulled that one out of nowhere. Oh, we have to switch out our uh, cars. I definitely want this one more than I want that one. Amelia getting those hearts. As a Tundra getting those hearts. Thank you, guys. Peter Beer, how are you doing? I guess you're saying it's the morning for you. It is 8.14 p.m. for me. What are you looking forward to doing today, Peter Beer? Oh, baby. Let's get a save for that one for sure. Holy crap. I wonder if it heals us to do that. Oh, look. The time is wrong on, our, on my PS2. It says it's 1900. It's really 18 or 2000. It does not heal us. Okay. Beer Beer enjoy the Piano Man. The Piano Man, I like that. Eggly Birds, yeah, he's great. We've rated him a lot, actually. He's um, awesome. If you've never seen, he also uh, maps his piano to play Dark Souls on it, which is a heck of a, a thing to watch. So how do we heal ourselves, then? Oh, there might have been a health thing actually right outside the house. Let's check on that. Mm. No. You were saying he played piano request? Yeah, oh yeah, I was uh, I was there hanging out for a while on his stream. Uh, he's really, really fun. Oh crap. I like his thing too, where it's like he has his list of songs and he like only plays off of that list so that he knows he's gonna be good at, you know, at playing. He doesn't just like play a random song. I have a lot of respect for that. Where can we find um, a health pack, do you think? Maybe back here? Oh, this is behind ammunition. Maybe there's something here. Dang it. Nope. Can I, like, hold somebody up? Will you give me money? Like, you just, uh, you're not gonna do anything, I guess. All right, I don't think anybody will give me money for that. Can I go in here and get uh, stuff? You want a license too? So there's no health here. Frick. I guess we'll just have to like do the mission and hope that there's health back there. Let's try to go to Joey. Maybe they'll be helped by him. I like this car, the Kuruma. Now let's go this way. Whoa! This one's a lot heavier. Oh! It's a hospital! Okay, good stuff, guys. Can we get some hearts for the heart that we're about to pick up here? Hearts for hearts. There it is! Ah, look at that nice non-flashing health bar. Gotta love that. Alright, let's save it with the actual... Uh, health in our, in our thing. You got it. Dan, love the podcast. Thank you. Can we get an exclamation mark hearts in that chat for you got it in that podcast love? Let's also get an exclamation mark high for you got to join the stream. We are playing Grand Theft Auto 3 right now. Welcome on in. My first uh, GTA 3 stream in our Grand Theft Auto playthrough series. We did GTA 1 and 2 earlier from 1997 to 99. And uh, I'll tell you, it's a heck of an upgrade going from those to uh, to this one. That's for dang sure. Welcome in, you got it. Let's see here, we're gonna save over. We'll save over this one because we didn't really do anything since then. We wanna keep like pretty somewhat different uh, timings for the saves in case we save ourselves in a corner or something. Let's see here, is it daytime now? It is still night. So GTA has that thing where they like advance time by six hours specifically. 
So this is kind of like in GTA, or in Red Dead Redemption, rather, uh, how we always have to, like, sit down at our campfire, like, three times in order to actually get get saved because I want to wait until day. But you can't just, like, choose daytime, like in Red Dead Redemption 2. You have to, like, oh, jeez. You have to, like, keep going <laughs> back to the campfire. I wonder if you can do it like Red Dead where you just go in and then and then come back out. Let's see. What if I cancel this? Does that work? Because in Red Dead, it advances time without actually saving it. In this, it does not do that. All right, we're still learning the ropes here. Still learning the ropes. We got some hearts in there. Thank you to Space Dust for some hearts. And now, let's do that. There we go. Uh, let's get some coffee in here. Man, I haven't played this game. I mean, I never owned this game when I was a kid. But I haven't played it probably since, like, I don't know, a year after it came out. Oh my god, is it still dark outside? Holy crap! Alright, we're just going. We're going. We got those headlights. You can see what's going on. It's supposed to advance time by six hours. We advanced time by like 18 hours and none of the times were light outside. <laughs> what's going on in Liberty City, ladies and gents? Eternal night. The Ragnarok has come. All right, here we go. You like that one-handed car driving right there? Pretty well uh, executed, if I do say so myself. All right, let's do it, guys. What do we got now? The fuzzball. Oh, you can't see the mission names. Well, it says the fuzzball. school hall near the Callahan Bridge and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops freak away their green. It's so concise. The mission cutscenes definitely get a lot longer in other GTA games. Oh crap. This is a timed mission. You must complete it before the timer counts to zero. Oh crap. Alright, let's do it guys. <laughs> Decaf saying, Liberty City, the land of the eternal nightmare. Ooh, I like it. Me Computer, welcome to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Me Computer joining the show? Maybe it's Dark City? Oh man, I remember that movie. That was a good movie. Dark City, damn. That's the same guy who directed, um, you know what he directed? Uh, Alex Proyas. He did the iRobot movie, which is pretty good. As an Asimov fan, it doesn't really connect to the book at all, but it's a pretty good movie. And he also did um, Gods of Egypt, which got a lot of hate when it came out for different reasons, but the movie itself is actually pretty good. I like Gods of Egypt. Alex Proyas, good at making movies that, for one reason or another, don't really get a lot of clout, but are actually good movies. Here we go. So we have to... We only have three... One more seat after this girl. So we gotta try and... Optimize here. Peter Beer, thank you for the host. Oh, Peter Beer, going to bed. Early morning hours. Hope to catch you again soon. Peter Beer, have a fantastic night. Can we get an exclamation mark night for Peer to Beer? I didn't even see that in there. Have a great one, Peer to Beer. Thanks for hanging out on the stream. Sleep well. Oh god, you can't jump down like that. Okay, good. Do you guys think that reminds me of a show I was watching? They had a parody of Batman where he lives in the city where it's like always nighttime. <laughs> good stuff. It's like always nighttime. So do I have to get every single girl to the policeman's ball? Holy crap. There's like eight girls. And we can't even pick up these ones because we have to uh, drop the other ones off. I should get a bigger car. But who knows where we're going to find one. I don't think you could stack them all in the back of an ambulance. All right, well, let's just see if we can do it like this. All right, we got three of the girls. We definitely don't want to have a two-door car. 
Let's try and go from this side onward. Oh, ah! That guy's just walking around with a baseball bat. You know how it is. They love their baseball here in Liberty City. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Send some hearts, ladies and gents! Oh man, we're at oh, around two minutes here. Okay, jeez. Okay. Oop! Don't hit the cops. I'm helping you though, policemen. I wonder if they'll know it. They probably won't. They won't sympathize. Get in! Okay, there's one lady right here. Oops, okay. There it is. I'm just honking the horn furiously. Get in the car! Okay. One minute and 17 seconds we have here. Oh, crap. Go, 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 go. Oh, crap, I see another girl, but we can't pick her up. Come on, policeman! Your ball is gonna be great. Just give me another little bit of time to pick up these ladies. Okay, go! We have 48 seconds to get two more ladies. Can we do this? Get out of here! Hopefully no policemen saw that. They're all at the ball. That's fine. Get in! We not only have to pick them up, we also have to get them to the ball. Oh crap, guys. Can we get some hearts in that chat? This is going to be a tight one. Oh, uh, jeez, uh, no! Oh, now I got a wanted level. That's exactly what we needed. Oh god, 17 seconds. Holy crap. Uh-oh, that's 10 seconds. Uh, I don't think we can do it. I don't think we can do it. Yeah. What if we get them? Maybe that'll count? Oh, we passed! Oh, it was just like, how many girls do you, can you get? Wait, can I pick them up now? Hey, you wanna hang out with a guy whose car is on fire? <laughs> I'm taking your car, sir. I'm commandeering your vehicle. Oh crap, he's got a gun! But you know what that means. I want it. Oh crap! He's shooting! He's got a gun! So do I, but don't worry about that part. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh look at this nice restaurant here. We have a pump action, I should have used that. Damn, the pistol in this game might as well be like a, like a wiffle ball. It's like it does no damage. Oh, that was a squish sound effect if I ever heard one. Oh crap, here's some New York potholes for you. Get out of the way. Hey, oh crap! Here goes our car. Damn, that's a New York, like, river. It's a dried out river. Not a pothole. Don't you love the radio stations in this game? <laughs> you know what I've noticed is that um, when I played GTA games, I always noticed that the taxis are the most uh, consistently, consistently drivable car. Like they'll always have sort of like neutral everything, like pretty good turn radius, pretty good like you know, drift ability, pretty good speed. So like you're always kind of safe when you pick this type of yellow cab. Not the, you know, larger like minivan one or the other one, like that exact cab. If you pick up that cab in any GTA game, you're kind of pretty okay. That's what I've always noticed since I was a kid. And it still seems to hold true. 
Isn't it funny how those little like things that you remember? This is 18 years old now, but we, you know, I still, I still remember that little like idea that I always had, and it, it seems to to be true uh, in 2019 as well. We got some hearts in there. As a tundra and space dust, thank you guys for those hearts. As a tundra saying 18 years, jeez, I know, right? Isn't it crazy how good this looks for 18 years? Because this is 2001. This is the the year that the PS2 came out. It's crazy. But th I mean, showing off the power of the PS2, like, how could you do better than this? Look how crazy this game is, ladies and gents. That's gonna do it for GTA 2, GTA 3 today. <laughs> Thank you everybody for joining the show. Let's do the ceremonial adding of the game to the games list before we uh, call this an episode. And uh, oh, thank you guys for for posting those raid commands there. Guys, make sure you copy down that raid message. Meatball Marauders are here to party. Or you can actually, if you're on a device that can't copy paste, we have another raid message that you can do. You can actually write in this new raid message that says glorious meatball raid. So you can write that in as well. Uh, whichever one you post, make sure you post something because it will uh, show that you're coming in with a raid, show that you're supporting the community. And it's always very much appreciated. Now, we have officially GTA 3 on that games list, ladies and gents. Seven concurrent gameplay series are going. And speaking of which, let's take the show out. If you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what... If you want to see which games are being played on here, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going now, including Grand Theft Auto 3. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see that follower goal of seven. We're currently at three, so we're getting there, guys. The 29th entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now. That one is called How to Get in the Habit of Streaming. And that's gonna help you to really stick with your passion, no matter what tries to get in your way, just uh, really making sure that you're always sticking with it. And that's a really important uh, skill to have, guys. So make sure you check that one out. Um, if you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, so it's very bite-sized. And you can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching for the Twitch Playbook. You can also type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Either way, give it a listen. If you uh, want to support the channel, if you like what I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers have a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad-free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have uh, nobody uh, on this le week's leaderboards. We have in third place on the cheer leaderboards, 100 cheer from Me Computer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Me Computer. Second place is The Goonie with 101 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to The Goonie. First place is Decap Bossman with 650 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Decap Bossman. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is tweaking the streams you see in front of you, whether it's creating and posting content that goes on the social channels, whether it is adding and updating things on the wiki or Discord, whether it's writing, recording, posting all of the Twitch playbook entries, all that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is very highly appreciated. Now let's see if we can get a raid going, ladies and gents. Let's jump into somebody's channel. Let's see who's playing some video games at this very moment. We have, oh, somebody's playing Dark Souls 3. Good, but we can't join that, unfortunately. We have, ooh, we have a good one that might be fun. Oh man, we have a lot of stuff. Bluest is playing, oh, Bluest is doing some cool stuff too. Oh man, everybody's doing cool stuff right now. How do we choose? Oh, we got some Yakuza Kiwami in there. That's definitely GTA adjacent, I would say. I think we gotta try and do this one though. There, once this ad is over, we gotta give this a really quick look. We have, yeah, we gotta do this. I, I don't know what's gonna be happening on this channel, but we gotta see how NATO Potato does Super Mario Maker 2. I am very interested to see this, guys. If you haven't checked out NATO Potato before, an insanely, um, just really entertaining streamer, so energetic, don't know how he does it, honestly. Um, you're gonna love what you see on there. You'll know it from the first couple of seconds. And when you get in there, guys, Always, of course, consider hitting that follow button on NATO's channel because it is a stream that you're not going to want to miss. Now, uh, 
make sure you post that raid message. Thank you, Ezra Tundra and Space Dust, for posting it right there in the chat. That one right there, the Meatball Marauders are here to party. Get that one copied down, ladies and gents, anybody who hasn't done it yet. Or you can have that brand new glorious Meatball Raid message that you just write into the chat in case you can't copy and paste. Whichever one you try and do, guys, make sure you get it ready to go now. And I will see you in NATO's channel for some Super Mario Maker 2. Now, ladies and gents, we have one more video game stream coming up later today. But until then, bye-bye, everybody. Respect is everything, thing, thing, thing. <laughs>